Good afternoon. Joy here. <laughs> Do I look like I'm tired? <laughs> Do I look like I'm grouchy? <laughs> Terry said, you are so grouchy. <laughs> Oh, let me see. What day is it? Do I even know that? It's, is it Monday or Tuesday? I'm not sure. <laughs> I think it's Monday, January 11, 2021. Let me take a sip of, this is a really strange tea right here, turmeric chili something or other. I thought, oh my goodness. But I smelled it and it smells pretty good. Yes, the reason I look tired is I've had about eight hours sleep in the last four days and nights. <laughs> last night I was wide awake until 5 a.m. <sighs> and I know take a nap, take a nap, but I can't. I don't know, there's just something in me that can't, won't allow me to take a nap. I'll lay down to take a nap and I'll think, oh my goodness, if I go to sleep now, what if I don't wake up in time? What if I don't wake up in time to make supper? What if I don't wake up until it's time to go to bed tonight? And then I can't go to sleep tonight because I fell asleep and I slept all day. <laughs> oh. Sorry y'all, that was a sneeze break. Does it look like my eyes are watery? That's because my eyes are watery. <laughs> I'm so sleepy. How can you be so sleepy and you can't sleep? Oh, it just doesn't make any sense. But we've got a really good devotional today. That'll fit right in to my current situation and probably yours too. Let me take another sip. I just made this hot tea. Have you noticed? I changed blouses with Lucy. <laughs> I came up here and I was going to put that on. And I thought, oh, I don't want to put that on. I'm too tired and it's red and I don't feel like holding my stomach in. So I took Lucy's blouse and I put that one on her. <laughs> oh no. Oh, surely I'll sleep tonight. All right, let's see what we've got in our little book today. So many of you bought it, you probably don't even need me to do this anymore. Today is John 14, 1. John 14 is a really good uh, chapter in the Bible, John 14. Do not let your hearts be troubled said Jesus. You believe in God, believe also in me. Yeah. This one's called Stop Worrying. And I don't have my contact in because my eyes hurt too bad from not getting any sleep, so I have to wear these funny glasses to see this. <laughs> Alrighty. Worry. Not worrying can be a challenge. You worry because you care so much. You worry because situations come where you aren't in control. You worry because you don't know the ending that's coming. Oh boy, there is a really true one. You worry because you can't fix things for yourself or those you love. The problem with worry is that you can't trust God and worry at the same time. Worry pushes aside trust. So, if you know Jesus loves you, if you believe what His Word teaches, then ask Him to help you trust instead of worrying. Oh, Jesus, I ask you, help me trust instead of worrying. <laughs> oh, let your will be done, Father on earth as it is in heaven. Okay, my friends, I have a little piece of chocolate. I thought maybe chocolate might perk me up a little bit. <laughs> so you want to see what I made yesterday? Hold on. I made these. These are really different. These are leggings, and I saw them on Karina's channel. Karina at, what's her channel called? Joy, wake up, wake up, wake up. What is Karina's channel called? Something about pins and needles? Is it something about pins and needles? I think so, but you all know who Karina is. Anyway, this is the bottom part, less the waistband, of a legging. And it's a new company I never heard of before. This was on sale. The company's called Green Style 
and these are called sundial leggings. Where the name sundial came from, I have no idea. So it's a PDF. So I need some new leggings, and it showed probably 30 pictures of women who made these wearing them. And they just, they look great on everybody. So I thought I would try them. It's one of those where there's only the seam in between your legs. There's no seam out here. And this one is really different because look down here at the calf. You come down, 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 and then you go out. And then you come back in. See? So you go down straight, and then you come out, and back in, and down straight. I almost cut that round off of there, but I didn't, and it's a good thing I didn't, because these are extremely fitted. I'm going to make them again, and I'm going to make a bigger size in the legs, because I don't like my leggings <clears throat> sucking my body in. <laughs> I'd like to have a little bit of mystery <laughs> inside my pants. <laughs> After all, I'm 70, not 17. <laughs> So I found this cute material to make them with. Now here's the deal with the material. You have to have 70%, is it 70 or 75? I think it's 70% stretch this way, and you have to have 50% stretch this way. So they have to stretch a lot. So I have this fabric. They make up really, really quickly. The waistband is a little tricky, and I thought the directions were not right. Um, it was like I had one of Peggy Sager's patterns one time, and it showed the picture, and it's supposed to show the outside of the pants, but it shows, it's supposed to show the inside of the pants, but it shows the outside of the pants, and it tells you to do something with the pants right side to the face band, and the pants would have to be outside showing to match the written description. So that threw me for a loop, so I decided to just put that away and figure it out for myself. So right here is this little point right there, and that's cute. And it's also, oh, that didn't even sew together right there. What's that about? What the heck? My sewing machine was giving me fits yesterday. I finally changed the needle. But anyway, let me see. I bet you could see it better if I turn them inside out. It's a really fun waistband, and you can do the waistband two or three different ways. If you go over to Karina's channel, lifting pins and needles, Go over to Karina's channel, and you can watch her make these with great detail. Okay? But here's the front, and you can see how it has that point. I have not surged this seam off yet, but I will. So you've got that point in the front, and then it's just straight across the back. And the way I did mine, it said if you want to, you can put clear elastic all around the top of this waistband but you don't have to but I put the clear elastic just in the back brilliant because it sucks it into my sway back it worked out great am I going to put them on no I probably fall on the floor taking my pants off I'm so tired <laughs> you can go over to Karina's channel at lifting pins and needles or you can go to this website, and I'm not sure what the website's called. Just search Green Style. I'll put it in the box below. But this is a really fun pattern. I thought it was very clever how they had this come out at the calf. When I make the bigger size, I'll probably straighten that line out because there'll be extra ease in it, and I won't need that curve there. But some people do. Some people have real muscular calves. So, very interesting. Um, oh, I started to tell you. The pattern comes with a choice of gusset or no gusset. And I thought, you know what, I'm just going to try it without the gusset. And I did, and they fit me just fabulous. They fit just fabulous in the crotch. I added one half inch in the rise, so these come all the way up to my belly button. That's where I like my pants to be. And so I really like them. They're just skin tight on the legs because they're supposed to be. Look at all the different pictures and you'll see, even on Karina, they're all just skin tight. And so I want mine a little bit looser. Okay, so I did that yesterday. That didn't take very long. And um, I got some new fabric. <laughs> I did. We have it so long coming up, and so I had to get some new fabric. <laughs> Let me get my team. Maybe I'm going to wake up a little bit more. Oh my iron on. I came over here and turned my iron on because I need to iron my new fabric. 
You know, I wonder if you could sleep standing up. Man, I think I almost could. <laughs> One o'clock, I get to go to bed at 10 o'clock tonight. I even stayed up till midnight the night before, and I still couldn't go to sleep. Frustrating. Mary, I'm gonna be on the same clock as you pretty soon so we can talk to each other at 2 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> I swear. Hold on, let me show you my new material. Now this one just happens to be from Edith the Sitar. I didn't order it because it was from her. I ordered it because I liked it and it has a certain color in it. And so this is going to be probably uh, a dress. Um, just a, what do you call it, a, sh a shift dress? You know, where it's just simple, pull over your head, be comfortable. Can we, like, start aiming for spring yet? Oh, spring has to be really good this year. <laughs> so anyway, this is one that I picked. I like this very much. And it is an edit a sitar print. And of course, she makes her prints for quilting, but quilting cotton is really, really nice to sew with. So that's going to be one of my fabrics. And the other one isn't going to be, but I liked it, so I bought it anyway. I don't know if this has an up or a down. But you know, I like to wear red. People say I look good in red. Except every time I wear my red lipstick, people say, your lipstick's too dark. <laughs> so this is the red one. And I think it's really nice, too. like it very much. But... I'll make it some other day. I'm going to iron it and put it on a bolt and put it away. But I like this one very much. It's got just a tad of yellow in it. Both from Missouri Star. And the reason I like this is it has black in the background. Plus, I could embroider some pretty red earrings. <gasps> Maybe I will go ahead and make this because it's red and it could be for Valentine's Day. Hey, we'll see. I never know what I'm going to do till I do it. So I think that's all in the world I have to show you today. Hopefully, I will get a really good night's sleep tonight. And I'll just be on fire tomorrow. As soon as I have. I don't, I don't want to go play with my scanning cup when I haven't had any sleep for four days. <laughs> so I have a good night's sleep tonight. I'll, I'll fire up that scanning cup tomorrow. And we'll do that sam one of the samples. One of the tutorials that came with it. Okay? All right, my dear friends. Remember, stop that worrying. <laughs> I'll be back tomorrow.